we got a few things to talk about here, first of all. One thing here uh, looks different. Off stream, I went back and cashed in some of my captures for areas, and I found this guy. And the cool thing about this guy is his terrestrialized thing is dark type. So this guy is dragon, ice, and dark, which is really cool. And also, off stream, I found another diseased Pokemon. It's pretty weird. I don't know what's up with them, but you know, pretty cool. So we are level 42 right now, and I personally want to fight the gym. Your job is to get up on the stage, show us dead fierce Pokemon battles, and get the crowd excited before the gym leader's concert begins. You can start the gym test by speaking with MC, MC Sledge in front of the stage outside. Awesome. Yo, trainer, you're the one performing the opening act today. My name's MC Sledge. This is the stage right here. So here's the deal. We're gonna have you do some double- Oh, oh. That's where you have two Pokemon fighting on each side. That'll let you sledge up double the opponents and get the audience twice as excited. The venue will be so hot, it'll melt the mountain ever snow. Uh, no, don't do that. Once you get the audience worked up and ready to go, that'll be the cue for our leader to take the stage. That's how you pass our gym test, yo. This might be difficult. This might be kind of scary. This just graves in the ground. Oh, goodness. <laughs> What's up, Montaneva? Today's opening act will be three back-to-back -back double battles by our challenger here, Omega. And the first of their three opponents will be a young performer who makes it look like a breeze. Oh, my goodness. Chad Stride. I bet a Pokemon will die. Uh, it will if my ghost type is out in the ghost type gym. Who did this? Yeah, they were gonna destroy Monty. Ah, my special defense. I- Ah! That was rude. It's not nice. Bro's a shiny as like I know. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. I did not miss any. You're lying to me. I checked the VOD. I did not miss anything. I'm not that lucky, guys. Get out of there, Monty. Go, Merc. Oh my god! <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ, the hell, bro? <laughs> that was just mean. Why did it do that? Who was gonna tell me it was gonna blow up? That's not nice. That move was really great. Consider me your newest fan. What? what? They liked seeing the balloon blow up. Why? Who's gonna tell me, huh? Who's gonna tell me it had self-destruct? <laughs> That's terrifying. Get out of here. These people are psychopaths. Like, this is insane. They just watched several Pokemon perish. It sounds like there might be a rap battle. What? She's about to smoke this kid. <laughs> oh no. Let's go. This is my time and this is my day. You're not gonna stand in my way. Oh damn. Listen up, Rhyme. Your reign ends here. You're gonna get rug up by this pro cashier. Damn. Pro cashier, while well, I'm about to check out, must have got your rhymes on deep discount. Oh my goodness. Please, you think you can step to my game? Fool, I got rhyme right here in my name. I'm a specter from which there is no protector. A victory unto me you will render when the, the crowd sees you're a mere pretender. God damn. You wanna end my reign? Yeah, keep dreaming. Buy a book of rhyme rhymes, kid, and start reading. This is insane. I'm done. You won. My rhymes totally whiffed, but I'll be back maybe after my next shift. She said, what? Hold up. Where you going? That's all you got? After my next shift? Seriously? Bars over jokes? Come on. That was over way too fast. It gets boring wearing the crown if no one makes me fight to keep it. Am I gonna have to rap battle her? Hey, my opener's back. Are you here for a rap battle or a gym battle? I'm here for a rap battle, bro. Ha, <laughs> you got jokes. We both know why you're really here. No, I want a rap battle. Like, genuinely, that'd be awesome. This is awesome. Lest you forget it, my name is Rhyme, and I'm known as the MC of R.I.P. Dead or alive, let's make this a vibe. They have some good gym leader personalities in this game. I'm not gonna lie. Let's go. Okay, so <laughs> both of the Pokemon that I'm leading with are gonna be hurt real bad. Here's what I think, right? I feel like Spinos Aurora can take a hit from Mimikyu, but Spinos Aurora is the only Pokemon on our team that can terrestrialize the dark. So I might just do that right now. I'm still gonna terrestrialize and we're going to kill the Banette and then Monty's gonna come out and we're going to go into probably Lamp. Lamp can probably do it. Show us an awesome battle rhyme and you too, student kid. I feel like they should be fine. Oh, why? <laughs> All right. They were going trying to kill Monty instead of trying to kill Spinos Aurora. Awesome. That was perfect timing to terrestrialize. Was it? I don't personally think so. Thanks. Yo, huge. Why? Why did they do that? I mean, I'm not, I'm not complaining, but thanks. Okay. Now we can definitely take a few hits. I want to focus the Mimikyu and we're going to discharge because that hits everyone, right? Spinos Aurora should be able to take this. Um, so I, I, I believe that Lamp won't accidentally kill Spinos Aurora. <laughs> I hope they don't. If they do, that'd be really funny. <laughs> Ah, oh, oh god. Lamp, lamp, calm down. Lamp, <laughs> lamp, don't do it. Don't do it, lamp. Lamp. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Whoops. Lamp, no. Lamp was too based. No. Damn. <laughs> Wasn't even the fairy move. Oh god. All right, said so and murked. Spino is weak to fairy. Spino is weak to lamp. Honestly, the best way for a Pokemon to die right there. This could be a little scary because of electric type move. 
Aw, he's vibing. Let's go. So it shouldn't use an electric type move. They love going for the trash lights move. It didn't even matter. <laughs> it literally did not matter whatsoever. Cool. GG's. Merc is just so good, man. Merc is a fairy. Ow! Why does everything have a fairy move? Nice, he totally nared that Pokemon's weakness without batting an eye. I love it when they just give me stat boost for no reason. That's great. Keep doing this game. Based murked. You just got murked. We're not gonna worry about um Spinos Aurora. They were on the team for like three seconds. <laughs> they were on the team for three seconds. I did it. I saved the world. It's freaking Lamp, man. The trainer wasn't even the problem. I was the problem. Lamp was the problem. <laughs> Ah, great battle. Chilling and thrilling. You got spirit, kid. You earned my gym badge, all right? <laughs> Damn, I'm just like, whenever I smile, it's so forced. I'm just like, yeah, just got here and then died. Yeah, literally. Like, I had nothing to do with this. Lamp wanted to kill them. I'm sure you've got some scary good adventures ahead. I'll be cheering for you. Later. All right. Well, that was cool. Um, no longer have a pseudo legendary though. Uh, really? This guy? Greetings once more, Omega. I was watching your battle with the gym leader from the sidelines, and I must say, I thought it was simply excellent. Full marks, gold star, extra credit even. Hardly had you. S s <laughs> Hardly had you sent out Octobax before you launched into your strategy. You know, the guy who died. You know, the guy who I killed. Me. Not them. I killed them. <laughs> That unrelenting offensive, that flurry of attacks, what an efficient way to corner your opponent. I'm just like, bro, I just murdered my own Pokemon. Ah, I do beg your pardon. I didn't mean to let my emotions run amok like that. Ahem, <laughs> in summary, I simply wanted to say that you seem to have gotten even stronger. I must admit, I'm eager for you to gather all the gym badges. As a member of the Elite Four, I await the day you come to face me with great anticipation. At least, Nimona's not here. This is the first time Nimona isn't here. Oh, but one thing. Don't let your studies fall by the wayside. Be sure to come to the Academy. <laughs> yeah, I I haven't been in the academy once. I haven't done anything in the academy. I don't see any purpose to. I don't want to go to school. I heard that the elephant is kind of scary. But also, every single time I say that, I immediately kill. None of the Titan Pokemon have been an issue. We have a lot of encounters we can cash in on. Like, too many encounters. Hey. Uh, 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 help. 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 Ryan. Ryan, please. What happened? But here's the thing, right? Uh, I'm sorry. Hold on. You look weird. <laughs> I thought it looked a little strange. I thought it looked just a tiny bit weird. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. No one even, no one in chat said anything. No one said anything. Oh, hey, we got the Gucci ball. I kind of like Ryan Reynolds. That's another shiny. No. Ryan Reynolds. We must do Ryan Reynolds. Ha! <laughs> this boring Snover. Loser. Only one Reynolds. Yeah, apparently. And damn, in last stream I was talking about how hard shiny is. Guys! Uh, there's a wheel! <laughs> That's a big guy. Hey, yo, Arvin, what is this? Is this some joke? Hey, yo, bro. Come here! Hey, bro. Ew. Why is his face like that? Hey, yo, where's Arvin? Arvin! Arvin! <laughs> Goodness, chat. Oh, hey, here's Arvin. Hey. Hey, brah. Oh, this is not even Arvin. Hello, Omega. This is Professor Turo. Iron Treads is a Pokemon that came from the Great Crater of Paldea. I ask that you do whatever is needed to subdue it for me. With all due caution, of course. Big guy. Large. I'm gonna detect real quick. I wanna see what this guy is capable of. I wanna make sure he doesn't hurt me. Iron. That makes sense. You know, that makes sense. We can double kick. Rapid spin. Speed. Uh-oh. Not the speed. Double kick. Oh, massive. That's some huge damage coming from Flamigo. Double kick. Oh, that was, that was pretty easy, chat. Second phase. Well, I'll see you around. Get over here. Hello there, Mr. Iron Treads. Eating. Nom nom. Oh, hey, bro. How did you get all the way out here? Omega, it looks like you found yourself a Titan. Yeah. Wait, that's the Quaking Earth Titan? Uh, is, is, is that thing even a Pokemon? It must be trying to get pumped up. How is it eating? It has an iPad for a face. I wonder what power we're going to get next. Because I assume Fly is the last one. So I wonder what our next power is. Oh, it does have a mouth. That's weird. Get him, Tauros Ted. Raging Bull. That's a massive L. It always attacks him first. <laughs> Got him! These Titan battles are very sad. <laughs> you expect them to be very difficult, but they just aren't. Fine by me. 
the next thing is the psychic gym and it is 44 to 45 wow so we're actually fairly close we could do the psychic gym right now then it's the ice gym and the ice gym is only 48 wow we could do a lot today what even was that thing though i kind of feel like maybe i've seen it before somewhere yeah it was the book that you showed me another endangered species slaughtered that's what we like to see chat anyway i bet if we head inside we'll find more of that awesome weed that it was smoking on now, what did that be based come out come out wherever you it's it's a plant bro there's a great ball in the middle of the room why why is it just there? It looks exactly the same as the other one that we just did. Yes, found it. Here's our little herb. No time to waste. Let's get some food going. Sandwich time. Yippee. It's my favorite time of the day. Watcha. That's also what I say when I make a sandwich. Sorry for the wait. Here's a super healthy sandwich that'll perk you right up once you eat it. Dead dog time. Oh yeah. It's not dead because you can feed it a sandwich. It will be based. You know, the sad part of this is we're probably going to have to fight this guy eventually. And he's probably going to have this dog on his team. So he's going to do all of this to heal his dog. And then we're going to have to kill it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, would you look at that? Seems like someone's got a proper appetite now. Here you go. Take my sandwich, bruh. I'm, I'm so done with it. Oh my god. He looks like he's in pain. Oh, we have fly. What is the last power gonna be? Or is the last power gonna be I can use it, like in battle? Which I won't. It's a legendary. It seems healthy enough physically. Maybe it's got some kind of mental block that's preventing it from returning to its true form. I've read about it in books before. A mental scar, like psychological trauma, you know? Maybe it had a terrifying experience in battle, so now it's scared to battle at all. So, how do you feel, Mabostief? How is that Herba Mystica working? Rough. Not like it's fair to expect every kind of Herba Mystica to have some huge effect, right? And it's not like the effect has to be immediate either. Hey, it's okay, don't worry. Omega and I are gonna make sure you're right as rain. We've got one more herb to go, and I bet it's the best one of them all. It's, it's got, is the dog gonna die? Are they really gonna do it to us? All right, Omega. The next stop on our little herb hunt should be the last, but we can't lose steam until we're done. Let's keep up our momentum. Here we go. Yeah, I don't know what I would put on the team. I guess we're just gonna try it with Merc, because, like, I don't have other good Pokemon. Like, I really don't, which is kind of bad, which is why I want to cash in on captures, but every place that we've been to right now kind of has some trash encounters. All right, what's in Spooky Cave? Oh, damn. Ooh, hello. There's pretty much a Garchomp right here. Not bad. Let's go. <laughs> I kind of like AP Calculus. <laughs> we got AP Calculus. I'm not gonna do the Pokedex if I have to pay for a Nintendo Online subscription to trade with someone. I I'd rather not. Oh, they got trades in the game for trade evolutions. That's good. That's nice. I like that. But also, I was able to finish the Pokemon Sword Pokedex with only Link trade. And not only Link trades, but like the only trades that I did were online trades. There were some like super nice people. Super nice people. I had like good things to give them, but you know, like usually if you bring up a bad Pokemon immediately, they just leave. Because I always had a Pokemon that was named, hey, I need this, especially for the, um, the Shelmet and Carablast trade. I had to name a Carablast, trade me a Shelmet, and then had to go and had to make sure that they had a Shelmet, you know? Like, there were some really, uh, chill people on there. I was very surprised by that. What is that? What is that? What is that? Chat? There's an ominous black stake driven into the ground. Why did the music go away? I feel like doing the thing is usually cooler than not doing the thing. The, what? Okay. There's a very high chance that I've missed several shinies just because I'm not paying attention. When I'm riding around on my bike, I'm not paying attention to the color of Pokemon. And some shinies look exactly the same. So whoop de doo I got lucky that the only shinies I found have been insanely different. I just got very lucky with the Snover that I was close enough to see that it was clearly different than the other ones. It's all your money in standard Pokeballs. That's so true. For Legends Arceus, because the catch rates were so easy in that game, I caught every single legendary in a normal Pokeball. Like I, I did that as a stream. It's a video and it's just catching every single legendary in that game with a normal pokeball because it was so easy to do that i might as well it was pretty fun there were like a, only a few people in chat during those times but it was fun seeing the people like why it's, i do have a gripe with that video per, like personally because i <laughs> up the dialogue boxes in that video like it, i it is so bad i'm really bad at dialogue boxes i'm horrible at reading aloud but i ruin the dialogue boxes in that um video so it really annoys me whenever i go back and look at it but other than that i think it's a pretty good video oh god hey i heard the good news congrats on badge number six thanks Namona. Not even a tenth of the trainers who take on the gyms get this far, you know? But I'm not surprised that you made it. I just knew that you, there was a reason you caught my eye. I don't know, man. Well, trust me. I could tell from our very first battle you were gonna grow seriously strong. Anyway, I bet you could use a little warming up before you take on the gym, huh? Come on, you know the drill by now. She's trying to kill my Pokemon chat. Uh, here's our battle court for today. Anyway, sorry I sort of dragged you here, but a little pre-gym warming up should do you good. Now come on, Omega. Let's have us a fruit- Oh, uh, there it is. The fruitful battle. Her 
or catchphrase. Not great to start with. <laughs> Show me the battle skills that got you six badges. Ooh, okay, 42. Bring in Toro's Ted. Toro's Ted. Toro's Ted. Where are my Toro's Ted believers in chat? Rise up. No one believed in Toro's Ted, but now he's based. Get him, Toro's Ted. Hardest Nimona fight besides post game. Damn. Sligu. Okay, I can see why. Has some pretty strong Pokemon here. Get him, Thor. Huge. Thor is actually like a really good Pokemon. I just happen to use them a lot. Meow Skareda. Ugh, go Monty. Let's get rid of this immediately. I honestly just forget to Terrastalize, I'm not gonna lie. Go Monty, kill. We killed the stupid cat on two legs. That's an L for me. Who wrote that? Fire them. Man, you've gotten so good. I think that should be enough of a warm up. There's just two gems remaining. Then all that'll be left is to try out to be a champion. Give it all you got. Thor dies, I'm mad. Thor shouldn't die here, but it's always a possibility. I mean, Curlia died out of nowhere. Most of the deaths in this run, I think all of them still, have been 100 to 0, so it could happen. It means a special kind of exercise. I'm out. We're leaving. Emotional spectrum practice. Huh? <laughs> Complete it and you pass the test. The woman wearing the black tracksuit in the practice area will explain the rules to you. Okay. Welcome, new kid. This is where we do emotional spectrum practice. The rules of emotional spectrum practice, or ESP for short, are simple. I'll show you a certain movement, and all you have to do is copy it. Ready to get this gym started? I hope your body and mind are ready for the challenge. Is this Friday Night Funkin'? Hello? Oh my god, it might be. It might generally be. Stanced up Metacham. Gucci. They're back. Okay. Give a joyful smile. I gave a joyful smile. Your best angry face. Arr. It's Friday Night Funkin', but not. Surprised. Oh. Excited. Surprised. Uh. What the? Who is you? Let's keep the tagline simple. Naturally beautiful. And order the new eyeshadow color, too, would you? They just- they have goons. They have goons. Thanks, you're a doll. Gotta run now. Chat with you later. Does her dress just flap? Oh my god. <laughs> Hello there. I'm Tulip, the gym leader here. Though I must tell you that being a makeup artist is my main line of work. Makeup is like magic. Anyone can use it to change their appearance. Allow me to put my skills to use to make your cute little Pokemon even more beautiful. Is her dress alive as well? There are several gym leaders who have animals on their dress. Also, that's a, just a giraffe. That's awesome. Light screen! Okay. Send Denmark. Now you can't touch me, loser. And now you die, loser. Ooh, it didn't die. Crunch! Where'd that come from? Giraffe is dead. I am going to stay in as Thor, though, because this is a fairy type. Giga Chad Hammer! Go! Kill! Bonk. <laughs> Espantra. What does this do? What do you look like? That is not what I expected. <laughs> not what I expected whatsoever. Giga Chad Hammer! Go! Thor is finally getting their time to shine. Oh, that was close. I can play rough. Play rough will kill. Come here, my little Florgus. It's time for a makeover. You'll become a new you. Moonblast. Oh god, it has a fairy move. That's scary. Um, you think Giga Chad Hammer is good against it? Giga Chad Hammer. Oh. I mean, it was pretty good. <laughs> my bewitching beauty methods will cleanse you right down to the depths of your pores. Okay, Reflect is gone. I'm fairly sure that Clay Ruff will kill. Yep. Let's go, Thor. Thor doing some good work for the team. Very happy. That was pretty easy. Thor is amazing. Yeah, no. Steel Fairy is a really cool typing. I lost the battle, and your beauty rivals even my own. I can't believe it. You are quite splendid. Yes, truly amazing. Stepping in the shoes of Spine. Look, man. <laughs> Sp Spine Aurora literally got murked immediately. <laughs> I caught that thing off stream as well. I was so excited to show it to you guys, because it was, it was my first ever Pokemon that had a different Terrastalize type. And then Lamp <laughs> murked it. <laughs> Farewell, then. You did splendid. Splendidly today. We love Lamp though. Lamp is such a cool guy. Lamp is honestly care like Lamp, Toro's head, and Flamigo have carried. They've been so good. Hey, hey, Rika here at your service. Small child. These gyms really aren't giving you much trouble, are they? Rika, Rika! It's a Pikachu, huh? Oh, right. You two haven't met, have you? This young man is Omega. He's so good with Pokemon, even La Primera has taken an interest in him. Oh wow, oh wow. But but I think the Pokemon on Team Poppy are really strong too. Like really strong. Which one of you is stronger, do you think? I don't want to fight the child. I'm one of the Elite Four, so I'm more Amazing. W there's a child in the Elite Four? <laughs> now, aren't you just adorable? I know it's hard to believe, but this tiny little one is indeed one of- How? What? For- Okay, Pokemon over the years has really strayed away from the fact that you have to be 10 years old to get a Pokemon. This five-year-old is the part of the Elite Four. Yeah, I am. I hope I get to show you my Pokemon soon, mister. So hurry up and come to the Pokemon League. It's where the, um, pinnacle- It's- It's where the pinnacle of Pokemon battling happens. See you there. Hey, wait up. Well, you keep up the good work. You heard the kid. She's waiting for you. Wait up, Poppy. Don't leave your pal Rika behind.
Okay, she get 10? She's not 10, we're 10. Either she's super short or like something. I don't know, bro. Because we're definitely younger than Nimona. And this is our first year at this school. So we're probably 10. Yeah, I probably got born into it. We're in high school, are we? I don't know, because I've definitely seen children in the school. It's grades 1 through 12. Oh, that's cool. No, please. Why? How am I supposed to get up the mountain if my stupid lizard falls all the time? This is not the right path to the gym <laughs> whatsoever. Oh, hey, there's the gym. Hey, sorry for the shorter video this week and the lack of intro. I've been super busy this week, but really wanted to get a video out before I take a bit of a break next week to focus on some personal work stuff. And as for the intro, last intro really spooked me and I don't want to go anywhere near that bad juju.